Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to the channel and today we're gonna do two little upgrades to the truck two little small upgrades One has something to do actually two of them they both have something to do with the wheels and uh, This is a little guy Matthew playing with with his little motorcycle Whoa cool motorcycle bro Jump, jump, whoa, cool jump, man. All right, guys, so one of the things we're gonna do is program the TPMS sensors because my other wheels didn't have any sensors in them. So I had to buy some on Amazon and the ones I picked up on Amazon were OAM uh, sensors for I think about $20, $22 a piece so that was a pretty good deal way cheaper than the dealer and we're gonna try to go ahead and program them to the truck and on some GM vehicles what you can do is actually press lock and unlock button at the same time and hold it with the keys in the on position and what that does it makes the truck go into the uh, learn or program mode and I think on these trucks uh, 14 through 17 Silverados and Sierras it might be the same thing but what you have to do is actually you got to go to the tire pressure screen and you got to press the check mark and you got to hold it so you get a beep there you go so you, that's how you get into the tire learning uh, mode on the on this truck when the truck is in learn mode get one of the lights on it shows you the side that you should be programming it shows you the driver side and the passenger side is off so then we're going to try to deflate the tire for about 10 seconds and then see if that will learn the TPMS 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004, 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010 nope nothing happened nothing happened so I think I have to try something else. So what I have to do is go on Amazon and buy the Learn tool, which is really cheap. I got it for, I think it was like $19. It's cheaper than some of the other high-end programmers. It's nothing fancy. It's a model, this is the model number right here. VX Scan 50448. And I'll put it I'll put the link in the description below for this unit. And what you do uh, with so this, check it out. You do the same thing. You put the truck in learn mode by holding the check right here. The truck will honk twice. You'll get this <laughs> notification on the screen. Little guy Matthew's helping as always. So now you see where the light is. Driver's side. Take this little scanner tool, put it over here where the uh, sensor is, and press and hold this button till you get a double horn. There you go, not a double horn, it was actually a single horn. Then you go on this side where, you, where the light is on the passenger side, you do the same thing. Press and hold till you get a horn. There you go. Then you go to the back. Do the same thing, press and hold, get a horn, there you go, and then you go to the driver's side rear, same thing, press and hold, there you go, and you get a double horn when you're done to confirm that all the sensors were programmed. And now when you go to your tire pressure screen, so it shows me that both passenger side uh, tires are pretty low. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pump up the fronts. These are, I believe these are, you can do 65 PSI on these. I don't wanna do it that much, I'll do, right here it says 65 PSI cold. I'm gonna do maybe 50 on uh, both sides here and then I'm gonna do 
maybe 45, 40 on the rear, because I'm not driving loaded, so it doesn't really matter. So we'll do that right now. And then I have my little handy jumper box compressor. It's pretty cool. I always take it with me when we go either camping or longer trips. It has a compressor on one side and a jumper box on the front. I try to always keep it charged. Uh, cool little thing, but right now to make it quicker, I'm gonna use my compressor that I have in my garage. And one more thing I picked, two more things I picked up. One, one of the other ones is this little digital tire inflator, which is kind of cool. I picked this, up, picked this up on Amazon, I think for about 20 bucks too. Uh, cool little thing, I haven't tried this yet. I'm gonna try this out right now. Pretty simple, it clips on to the valve, so it's pretty cool, you don't have to hold it. And another thing I picked up is uh, this pack of hub-centric rings. There's a set of four aluminum ones. They have plastic ones, and the aluminum ones, I feel, would last a lot longer. And they're, these are only like $34, I believe. But it's something that's a good idea to have because when you put aftermarket wheels, the, the bore on the wheels is bigger than stock, so you need rings to downsize a little bit. So when you install the wheels back, on the stock bores, uh, it is supported on the wheel. Actually, it is supported on the hubs itself instead of just only the lug nuts. These are all little things that uh, we're gonna use today. Uh, once again, I have links in the description for this, this, and that. So if you guys need any, any of these, you can check them out in the description below. And I have a link in the bottom in the description for this as well. Now that I have the TPMS sensors installed, I'm gonna get my jack out and we're gonna get the rears done with the hub-centric rings. Hopefully I got the right size. Uh, it's a 108 millimeter to 78.1 millimeter. 78 is the stock size and the bore size on these wheels is 108. I'm hoping I did my uh, research properly and uh, they will fit but we'll find out here in one second after I take one of the wheels off and see if they fit yeah buddy hi a boy top top he wants to go on the ground okay we go top top okay So right now let's pump up the tires and make sure they're all where I want them to be. And we're gonna use our handy compressor and pump them up real quick. So here's the thing, you clip it on the little stem and here's the screen that shows you the PSI right now. And then you pump it up. I go and it shows you the PSI with 35. So let's do about, I want to say 40. So we go, we're at 40 on the back. And we'll do the front one to 45. Forty-five. And let's bump this up to 40. Let's do 42. Okay, 42 will work. I'll do 42 on both sides. Forty-two. Let's pump this up to fifty. I decided to pump up the fronts to fifty-five and the rears to forty-two. And we'll see how that will improve my uh, gas mileage. Because if they were at 35, and that's what the stock should be, and these are a lot bigger, and I think the max PSI on these is about 65, so you do want to pump up a little more than stock. And maybe that's why my PA, my uh, gas mileage was pretty pretty bad. Well, we'll see, we'll see. So now we got that done, and uh, now I'm gonna bring a light up here, and then we're gonna install the hub center rings and hopefully they fit as always it's getting dark too fast had to bust the lights out and then now we're gonna do the hub center rings bat bat 
Nazi helper, our little helper, little 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 bro helper. Hey, whoa! All right, let's get this done. So I took the wheels off and here, let me show you what the hub centric rings do. So basically that goes into the wheel, into the aftermarket wheel. And this side, the smaller bore, goes onto the stock little hub right here. And that fits like that. That way when you install the wheel, all the weight on the, of the truck is actually supported on the, on the subs right here and then the lug nuts is what holds the wheel the wheels in place you never want to put the weights on the the lug nuts and that's pretty much what these are for to put all the weight on the on the on the stock hubs and uh to perfectly center the wheels so we'll put these on and to not have any vibrations and then do a little test drive and see how it feels All right guys, so I installed the hub centric rings and I pumped up the tires and I drove to work and back and I noticed, uh, after pumping up the tires, I noticed that my miles per gallon improved by maybe one, maybe two uh, miles per gallon. Also with the hub centric rings, it feels like the, the it feels a little bit more stable, I guess. Um, there was a little bit of a vibration before I put the hub centric rings on, and with the rings, it, it feels like maybe it improved it just a tiny bit. The, the truck drives just a little bit better. But regardless, if the rings did improve the ride quality or not, uh, it still improves the weight distribution of the truck on the hubs instead of just being on the lug nut studs so that at least uh, makes it a little a little better and safer there you have it so there you have it guys uh, just little things they can do here and there to make uh, slight improvements to the quality of the ride and uh, MP mpgs once again guys thanks for watching and if you do like these kind of videos give it a like and if you like to subscribe please do so all right guys see you next upgrade